up, y'all? How y'all doing? Um, yeah, that song, I guess, really should, um, you know, I guess, give the little intro to what I want to talk about today. I, and it's not even just for me, and not at all. I just felt like that was an appropriate song for me right now. Um, I want to talk about, and as the title is saying up there, is your word. I mean, like, for real, your word. I mean, I, I definitely understand um, that your word is all that you basically have that you can give somebody 100% and you can make sure that you ensure that your word is always your bond. And if things change, you still have more words because you're speaking and you need to communicate. Okay, so um, I had posted on Facebook today, one of my statuses was, you know, just communicate. Like, even if you can't follow by what your word said, that you said you were going to do, or you said you was going to say, you know, whatever, at least have your word, you know what I mean? Like, at least be able to say, okay, well, you know what, I can't do this, or, you know what, I bit off too much that I can chew, you know, it, it's just, I don't know, to me, your word is what you should have and be able to communicate with other individuals. Now... I guess your word and communication kind of go hand in hand because with me there is no excuse that you should not communicate with someone that has contacted you you should not be able to communicate with somebody in general you know like it's not the olden days as far back as where it was just that you were able to send somebody a letter in the mail or not even the mail that it would come I don't know via a postal person that was riding a horse and, you know, letters took weeks and months and stuff like that to get to people. It's not like that. We advanced. And then when we advanced, Alexandra Bell came up with the telephone, okay? So then you had the telephone to communicate with individuals. Well, then you had cell phones that came out. So it was that you not only did you not need to be at your house, people could communicate with you when you are wherever you are. If you in Target, if you at the car place, wherever, you could have been reached. Now, Steve Jobs came up with the iPhone, okay? So, from there, you can Facebook, you can Twitter, you can, uh, I don't know, Instagram, you can text message, you can do a variety of ways of communicating with somebody. Um, I guess my, my huge gripe is, and I'll tell you about the incident, is that I cannot stand, I just cannot stand it when someone says that they're going to do something. And they end up not doing it, but then on top of that, don't communicate that they're not doing it. To me, that is a disrespect. That's like that's that's real disrespectful to me. You know, like it's like you didn't find me important enough to communicate with me, so you just think shit just gonna go back to regular. Like you just go call again and be like, hey, how you doing? You know, I mean, if I was to say to my girlfriends, like, girl, you know, we gonna go out tonight. We gonna do this. And we're going to do that. I never call. I never contact anybody. I never do anything. But then they see me on Facebook. Or they see me post a vlog video. Or they see me, you know, driving by. Or something like that. Like, are you serious? Communicate. Be able to tell somebody that, you know what, I'm not going. And I think that a lot of it is guilt. But there are so many non-personal ways that you can communicate with people nowadays you know, Facebook, text messages, that you don't even have to feel that guilt. At least you've had a chance to get it out. At least that you've been able to tell it to that person. Now, however they want to take it later on, that's how they take it. Like, okay, well, why did you text message me? You could have called me and told me. Whatever the case is, you told them, right? Okay. Um, I mean, because I've had an individual that, you know, said that they were going to do something, didn't end up doing it, and that's totally fine. I understand. Shit happens. Life occurs you know issues come up people got kids people got issues their relationship they got depression church family i don't know shopping hell even if you just didn't freaking feel like going or doing whatever you said you was gonna do i don't care it doesn't matter communicate okay you know you don't have to tell me the whole story you don't have to you know elaborate and say okay well this is why i didn't do this and then this is why i didn't do no you can say, in the process of not doing it, say, okay, hey, I ain't going to be able to do it. 
Now, if I ask you why and all that, that's, you know, that's the conversation is evolving from there if I if I continue to go into that. But at the end of the day, you've told me that you can't do it. Plain and simple. So, you know, I just I got to hit on that because it's too many ways to communicate people. You know, and I mean, it's it's time, it's time, and and with the men and women relationships and and stuff like that, that you can say, you can't say, well, baby, I was working late, or well, you know, it's safe to assume if I didn't call you that I wasn't gonna do what I said I was gonna do. I'm not assuming shit, plain and simple. I'm just I'm not assuming shit, okay? Because I'm not gonna make an ass out of myself trying to assume. On some stuff about you you need to be able and grown enough to be able to communicate my seven-year-old can communicate with me I think a grown man or a grown woman can communicate so uh, yeah that is my yeah after I got off work um, dilemma that um, you know I'm just I'm trying to empower people to make sure that you make the right decisions in regards to communication and your word because I mean once you start losing all that kind of stuff I mean people just really ain't gonna have none you know no feelings for you like that so and I can't even say people I won't okay <laughs> but um, I guess all in all to, to sum all of this up is and I guess a lesson to myself and and to others is just to make sure that when you put your word, you put your stamp on something, even if you cannot do it, send a text message, send a Facebook, poke somebody on Facebook, send a Twitter, I don't know, just communicate. See y'all later. Bye.